Okay, let's see the following expression. If I say x plus 1, and if I try to um, evaluate that, well, it says that it's not working yet. x has not been defined. So it's the same as in, in mathematics. It's like um, in order to be able to evaluate as a numerical value, we have to fix uh, the meaning of, of x. So what, what we can do instead is that, well, I can say that, oh, I define x to be um, 1. And now, if I evaluate that, well, it is not a function call. This is actually a, a special form. This um, does something in the background. So now um, the computer will remember the value of x. So if I say um, x plus 1, now I get 2. Okay, so where is x? x is actually uh, stored in the environment, the so-called environment. So that's the the symbols that the computer is uh, the computer can remember and uh, can be looked up whenever it is needed. So still, for example, I I don't have anything for uh, y, so that has not been defined. Okay, so this looks like Oh, using def, which is just a short for define, looks like a good idea, but it's actually, it is not a good idea. It's polluting the environment. Okay, so it's like, just for quick um, purposes, you don't want to ask the computer to remember the meaning of a symbol. So there is a a better way to um, to do that, and that is that uh, you can have a temporary temporary memory. <laughs> it's a temporary symbol binding, and that's uh, the let expression. Okay, so I say let, and now I put that into a vector. So I have x <coughs> bound to let's say um, two, and this time. And, and now here, okay, so in this part, whatever I write there, x means 2. So if I calculate x plus 1, if I evaluate that, that's 3. Okay, so the way to read it, we say that, oh, let x be 2, and now we can evaluate this. And that's that's three. So sure, x is still in the well. I have to evaluate then. It's still in the environment, so it's um, remembered as one. But we sort of overwrite it when when we do the um, the binding with let. And the reason why you don't want to um, have the values in the environment because if you start relying on them and then um, you redefine it, then it's like things start to fall apart. So it's it's something that you can't see directly uh, what's in the environment. We will use that later for defining functions because the idea of the, the function is that well, you define it and after you use it and you don't want to redefine the meaning. Okay, so it's less likely um, to do that. So with let, uh, there are other options, so it's like um, well, you can x be 1 and y can be um, something else. And now I can talk about the meaning of of these. Okay, and that's what well, happens to be 3 again, that's not particularly exciting. Just at least to have a different value, 4 plus 2 is um, 6. So you need to think of it as like when um, Clojure tries to read an expression, it's like, okay, I'm adding numbers, uh, but I got the symbol x instead of a number. Uh, so what's the meaning? Okay, so it's, it's not a data literal, it's not a number. I have to figure out what's behind x. And, and, and you start going... Uh, sort of um, from the inside to the outside, and you find that, oh, x is actually um, 
four, so you can use that. And y, similarly, y is two as well, so you add them up. So what happens if, if I say um, z instead of that? Do I get an error? No, I get three. Oh, why did I get three? Well, because Clojure tried to, to figure out the value of x and went to uh, this, these lead bindings. And it's like, okay, there is no x. So it went outside. Oh, does anyone know the meaning of x? And actually in the environment we defined x to be 1. So it is used there. Okay, so it's like you can imagine that uh, maybe by mistake instead of x you say xx here and then you are thinking that oh, you are changing that value here but it's actually referring back to the environment and then that could drive you um, crazy. Okay, that's just a an example. So don't pollute the environment, just do the, the lead bindings and um, that will be uh, more safe and more uh, readable.